Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you how to do this look using the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca Remix Palette. First of all, I am getting my Urban Decay Primer Potion, patting that all over my eye, letting it dry, and then I'm starting my look by getting Lemmy with a shader brush and applying that all over my eyelid. Then I'm going in with a shader brush using the color Legend, and I'm going to apply that to the inner portion of the eye on the top and bottom lids there to kind of brighten things up a bit. Now I'm the, getting the color Rewind with a short smudger brush and I'm applying that to my lower lash line, not the inner corner where the yellow is, but the rest of it. And I'm extending outward there to create kind of a lifted look, which I'm going to meet up there in the corner with that pencil brush. So doing that point there, meeting up, and then going into the crease and coloring in the very outer portion of the eye there. So yeah, into the crease. And now I'm getting my trusty blending brush and I'm going to blend out the lower lash line and the top there where we just put in the crease so now I'm getting the color harpsichord with the blending brush again and I'm going to go into and above the crease with this color um, yeah so we are just going to blend that out and I spent quite a bit of time blending it out making sure it was as blended as I wanted it to be so don't rush with the blending guys that is the key to making a wonderful look look even better so yeah I I'm just blending that out and then I went into the crease a bit to intense the depth a bit more now I'm getting the color Noble here, and I am applying that just above the color we just did, kind of as a gradient between that last color and the um, brow color that we are going to put in afterwards. So just blending that out. And now I am getting Molder here, and I am applying that to my brow bone, just like I said I would, <laughs> to kind of, you know, highlight the brow bone there. You can use a blending brush if you want. I just decided to use a shader brush. It's all up to you. And then I'm going in with a blending brush and blending it afterwards. So yeah, blending brush would have made sense too. <laughs> now I'm getting that pointing brush and I'm getting the color rewind again and I am intensifying things a bit there. Um, yeah, if, if whenever you blend out and you notice that the colors get kind of uh, faded out, you can go back in like I'm doing again with the color harpsichord and just intensifying the colors till I like them. So you can go back and forth and play with it a bit till you get it how you want it. <laughs> so once again, blending makes making sure all the colors look nice together. And now I'm getting my NARS eyeliner and applying that to my waterline. We're gonna kinda add a little bit of drama here with the darkness and I'm getting Vox with that short shader brush again and I'm applying it just to my lash line. Um, you can still see Rewind, that maroonish color underneath it peeking, so you don't wanna like do the entire lower lash line. It's kind of like a gradient from the dark to the lighter. So now I am blending that out a bit and I'm also applying it to the very outer portion of the top of my lid there. And now I'm getting my tattoo liner by Kat Von D in the color Trooper, the black one, and I'm creating a dramatic wing there. And I just got into my eye, so make sure you don't do that. <laughs> so yeah, we're just winging it out a bit. And now I am going to curl my lashes and apply several coats of my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara to the top lashes and to the bottom lashes as well. And now I'm getting my Violet Voss lashes in the style Vamptress and I'm using House of Lashes glue which can like spill outside the package and get sticky so that kind of sucks but it sticks real well so that's good. <laughs> and I'm just popping those on. What difference lashes can make? They're so pretty. Now I'm getting my Tarte Maracuja oil, uh, not oil, concealer and concealing my under eye area there and I'm also sharpening up the lower lash line shadow line there that I have going on so there we go now I'm gonna set it with my makeup forever finishing powder and um, I accidentally just made a cloud of stuff there and I'm going to set it make sure you buff it in really well if you don't if you take pictures and you have flash it can show up in the flashback so buff it in really well now I'm using my NARS um, blush in the color Dolce Vita and applying that to my cheekbones there and then I'm getting my MAC Oh Darling skin finish and I am applying that to create a nice beautiful highlight. I love this stuff. And now I'm getting my Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Lolita and I'm just, you know, applying that to my lips. Ah, the precision. Shake the bitter rock street to the bottom. 
And there you have it. The look is done. Yay! I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Hello everybody, hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite things from the month of October. Um, I'll have beauty things, of course, and then I'm going to also show you other things that make me happy in life. And so that's what I'm going to be doing.